So next question, uh, in your experience, uh, of any, are there any commonly missed conditions uh, with foot and ankle uh, that the therapist should look out for? Um, so look, there's lots in foot and ankle, all right, and the bottom line is that no one can pick everything up, all right, you or me, okay, I can put my hand up as well. Uh, and that's why sometimes we need a second opinion, sometimes we need some further imaging, and that really helps us put it together. And that said, one of the things I find is a little bit underdiagnosed and understood is tibialis posterior dysfunction or the flat arch, the tib post. Okay, so it's mainly sometimes that sort of primary care setting where GPs come in and it's swelling on the inside of the ankle. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm sure it'll get better. No real trauma. So correctly so, let's rest it and see. But it kind of goes on and on. And as you and I know, um, it develops. So it's one of those pathologies I think we should look into. Um, so that's the, probably the one that I would, because that's the sort of thing that therapy is crucial for right at the beginning. So great physiotherapy, eccentric loading, sometimes concentric loading, an orthotic from the biomechanical podiatrist to offload that area, you know, absolutely fantastic. Deep tissue massage from an osteopath, maybe some chiropractic work to loosen up the perineal muscle bellies, absolutely fantastic. So there's all this stuff that could, could happen to the patient to prevent it from going from a grade one to a grade two and a two to potentially a grade three and prevent surgical intervention from me. But if it's needed, then we get together and we have a chat. Um, yeah, I think that's the big one for me.